Hey everyone, I'm back again with another video for you. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I quit caffeine for good. Now, there's three steps to this process. Step one is slowly start to reduce your intake of caffeine over time. Now, you could be someone that's drinking between six and eight cups a day, four and six cups a day, or maybe one to three cups a day. For myself, I've always drank two cups of coffee uh, a day and for the last few years. And at one point, I was actually up to four to six cups a day because I had one of those 20 ounce tumblers from Starbucks and those can actually house a lot of coffee in them and they can go all the way up to like 32 ounces or more depending on how much coffee you like to drink. So it was a little bit difficult for me initially, but what I had to do was I had to transition my, my caffeine intake down over time. And it took me about a month and the first few weeks were absolutely painful and my focus deteriorated. But over time, I got that, that newfound energy back because over time our bodies um, develop a, a reliance on the caffeine. And over time, our energy isn't the same for that same kick of caffeine that we get. So my recommendation to you is if you're already drinking four to six cups of coffee a day, drop that down to three to four or two to three and so on and just slowly uh, ease back on your consumption that way. Because for you to go completely cold turkey on it, not gonna work. I tried in the past and tried to just transition to green tea and eliminate coffee and it did not work. So that is step one. Step two, if you can't eliminate coffee or caffeine, try decaf. Now, this is what I've done. As I transition from uh, higher intake to lower intake for my caffeine consumption, I was drinking two cups a day and then I slowly transitioned to one cup a day and then to, de to decaf. Now, all I'm doing is drinking decaf. And then in most days, I, st I still don't have any, any coffee at all because my body's now adjusted to this new habit of no caffeine. And my energy stays more stable and that's really important. Your, our energy expenditure should be at a nice constant. When you're having caffeine, you have much peaks and valleys in your energy levels. That's for me that I found personal. So, and then step three would be to try higher caffeine intake or higher caffeinated green tea or black tea. Now, green tea and black tea are also great alternatives to decaf coffee. If you're not a, if you're an like coffee, but you're like, I don't love it, then if you're more of a tea person, then that might be a better fit for you. I liked the decaf coffee, so I transitioned to that but the green tea or black tea are great alternatives as well. And they still have a decent amount of caffeine in them per cup. In some cases, black tea can have as much as 40 to 80 milligrams per cup, depending on the strength of the black tea and how long you let it uh, steep. So keep those tips in mind. Again, this is how I quit caffeine for good. And I've actually put up a blog article on my blog for this. It's up on my blog and I'm gonna post the link in the description below. And hope you guys all enjoy this video. If you found this valuable, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to keep, in, uh, keep watching for my next videos. Um, and my next video is going to be on my obsession with mental performance. Take care.